In this video series, I'll be walking you through how I created this interactive dashboard. All of this was done using Cordo, GitHub Actions, and GitHub Pages. It was completely free to create and to host, and all the interactivity that you see here is powered by observable JavaScript without the need for a shiny server. This dashboard displays the Today's Top Hits playlist from Spotify and is automatically updated every day at 9 a.m. without me needing to do anything at all. I never have to render any of this code locally since GitHub Actions takes care of everything for me. And the code is 100% reproducible because this project uses rnv to manage all the error packages and packaged versions. I created this dashboard as my submission for POSIT's 2024 table contest. And my idea with my submission was to combine as many different tricky components as possible into one Cordo project. Throughout this series, we'll talk about how to create and style Cordo dashboards, how to publish them for free using GitHub Pages, and how to automatically update them on a schedule of your choosing using GitHub Actions, how to include passwords and other confidential information as part of your GitHub Actions workflows, how to use Observable JS to add interactivity to your dashboards, how to use the Hitter2 package to access APIs, and of course, how to use the GT package to create beautiful interactive tables. This playlist contains seven videos, and in this series, we'll build up this dashboard step-by-step step from scratch. I've designed this playlist though, in such a way that each topic has its own video that's fully self-contained. That means that you don't need to watch all seven of the videos in this playlist in order to get value out of the video that you're currently watching. If you do watch all seven though, you'll be able to completely reproduce this dashboard and you'll also have all the tools you need to create a similar project of your own. My name is Melissa Van Bussel and I make videos about our programming and data science. If you find these tutorials helpful, please consider subscribing to my channel since it really helps me make more videos. Without further ado, let's jump into this video's topic. In this video, we'll learn how to embed songs, videos, and other kinds of iframes into a Cordo document. You can do this with any kind of Cordo HTML document, but for this example, we're going to be using a Cordo dashboard. First, let's look at how we can embed a YouTube video in a Cordo dashboard. I'm going to be using this video as an example, which is a video I made about publishing a Cordo project using GitHub pages and GitHub actions without needing to render anything locally. And if you're interested in this video, I've linked it right here. But once you're on the page for the video that you'd like to embed, you can click the share icon and then click on embed. And then you can click on the copy button to copy the code to your clipboard. Then in your Cordo document, you can simply paste it in as it is. And because Cordo can understand raw HTML, you actually don't have to change anything else. You can simply render the document and the video will appear. And while you don't have to modify the content here, you can modify it by changing things like the width and the height, whether or not full screen should be allowed, and so on. Now, because the dashboard in this example is eventually going to be something that holds the Today's Top Hits playlist from Spotify, we're going to want to embed a Spotify web player within the dashboard. To do that, you can go to the song that you'd like to embed and then click on the three dots by the song, click on share, and then click on embed track. You can either select a background color that will be the same for any Spotify song, or you can select a color that matches the album art for that song. So for example, if I instead pick this song right here, the two color options are either a color that matches the album art or a color that will be the same for any song that you pick on Spotify. You can modify the size of the web player and then you can click the show code button and then click on copy. And similar to the YouTube video, you can just paste the code directly into your Cordo document. And when you render the document, you'll be able to play a preview of the song. And when you click on this play button, it will actually play the music out loud. You can even embed things like shiny apps in your Cordo documents. 
For example, if we go to the user showcase on the Shiny for our gallery, there is this Shiny app that we can embed in our Cordo document. And to do that, we copy the URL and we can add an iframe with whatever height we specify and whatever width we specify. And then we set the source equal to the link where the Shiny app is hosted. And then we close the bracket that we opened here and close the iframe tag. We can re-render. And now we have a Shiny app in our Cordo dashboard that is fully interactive, just like it would be if we were accessing it directly from shinyapps.io or wherever else Shiny apps might be hosted. Now, it's also worth mentioning that you can, in a Cordo document, actually include Shiny elements themselves. And the Cordo documentation has some examples on how to get started with that. But the iframe method that we just talked about would be for if you wanted to embed a Shiny app that's already being hosted somewhere, and you want to include that as part of a Cordo document. We talked about the height and the width attributes for the iframe HTML tag, but there are many other attributes as well that you can modify to customize how your iframe is displayed. For example, you can also add styling to an iframe using CSS syntax. Iframes are a really powerful tool that let you embed almost any kind of content that you can think of from across the web into your Cordo documents. And doing so is really straightforward because of the fact that Cordo documents understand raw HTML. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope that you found it helpful and I'll see you next time.